Hello everyone, it's Cam the Old Giraffe, and today, as you can probably see from the title, I'm going to be talking about Yodi Slayer, or at least that's what I call him. But um, if you're watching this now, and you're watching my video of it, you've probably heard that he died on the 23rd at 2 in the morning. And from what it sounds like, it sounded like he was uh, drinking and then drove. And then from what how I took the story, there was a train coming, and he tried to beat the train, and unfortunately... He didn't make it, and the train hit him, and he got thrown out of his truck, along with one of his friends, and got crushed by the truck, and there were three people in total in the vehicle with him, well, him and two other people, I guess, and they all died from that accident. So, obviously, that's a huge blow to the YouTube community and the Borderlands community. I know I played Borderlands. I didn't watch a whole lot of his Borderlands videos, but I watched a few, you know, just to see what it's all about, and then I bought the game, and I really enjoyed it. But I mainly watched his uh, Call of Duty videos back in the day, and I actually discovered him on Machinima when he posted his uh, round 1 to 13, 37 on Shinonuma, and I found that series, like, I wanted to see the next video as soon as it came out. Like, I was just waiting until the video came up, and I honestly loved his content. Those videos got me basically hooked on his content. I subscribed. I watched his videos. I talked to him. I think a couple times so I didn't know him very well at all and honestly if you went to him like a week ago and said you know this guy and he'd be like no but I've I talked to him once or twice I know in the comments or Twitter or whatever and he seemed like a cool guy and um, well now he's gone so that's honestly a huge blow to the YouTube community and yesterday I saw a video from Wicked Travel about it and I was like what is this gotta be some kind of joke and then I clicked it and it wasn't uploaded on April 1st. I was like, this must be some kind of sick joke. And I watched it, and I, I honestly couldn't believe it that he died. So I know I'm, I was just thinking last night, I was like, dang, I like, he was so young. I can't believe that, that he's just gone like that. But um, I'm not trying to place the blame, but he was drinking and driving, and that's a seriously bad idea. Like, there's so many... I know at school they tell you not to drink and drive, there's commercials all over, especially when you go to sporting events, don't drink and drive, you gotta plan a safe ride home, and, like, there's a reason for that, like, now we've seen the effects of it, obviously, but for people to understand it, sometimes it takes something like this, and I really hate saying that, but I'm hoping people smarten up a bit because of this, and, like, I, it was horrible that he died, and I honestly feel so bad for his kids, like, I couldn't imagine being one of his kids. Because he loved them so much, he was, they were in their, his videos all the time. He took them out all the time, did fun stuff, you know. He bought them an ATV for their Christmas present. I love that video. And, like, if you could, you just imagine, you woke up yesterday morning, and your mom or whatever comes, and you say, your dad died last night because he was drinking and driving, and he got hit by a train. Like, honestly, I I couldn't believe that. Like, I, I don't know what I'd do. I don't know how I'd cope with that, honestly. Like, it would be such a tough thing to hear. And especially, like, if you love someone so much like that, like, I don't know. I do, yeah, I honestly have no idea what I'd do. I know, well, I don't know what, how I'd feel, actually, but I'd definitely be extremely sad. And, like, that's, it's very difficult to get over something like that. So I really feel for his kids, because, you know, like, I couldn't even imagine going through something like that. That would be horrible. So, like, honestly, my heart's go out to them. They're probably not going to see this video, but... I, yeah, I couldn't imagine going through something like that. And I guess I'm not trying to make this sound bad, but to know that um, when your dad passed away, a couple of his friends died with him. That would make it, I think that would be the real kicker for me. I, like, I, I don't know what I'd do. But I think, like, I know the YouTube community is kind of getting together, which is awesome to see. Like, they're kind of getting together as a group. And I know they've posted on the uh, Gearbox website, which is the people who make Borderlands 2. They're trying to get him as a character into Borderlands 3, which I think would be awesome. Because, like, when you search Borderlands 2 stuff, he's the first result, or one of the first results that'll come up when you search basically anything Borderlands. It's pretty awesome. And he made great videos on it, too. Like, he had all the legendary weapons down, that kind of stuff. Like, his series were the best, Call of Duty and Borderlands. So... Honestly, if he could get into Borderlands 3 as a character, I think that would be really, really cool. And especially, like, from my point of view, like, I've watched his videos for over a year and a half, I know. I'm thinking over two years, maybe, then. I don't know, but it's probably around there. And it's like, this guy used to make videos, like, this is 
really cool that he's in the game. Even though he's passed away, that he's in the game, I think that that's really neat. So, you know, I think it would be very cool. It is like 250 pages of signatures, so I'm thinking that's over 2,500 signatures at least and minimum. So there's definitely a ton of support behind that. And I think, um, well, that's definitely a good thing. But I'm also thinking that the YouTube community, sh like, you should learn that drinking and driving isn't a right thing to do. I know he got a DUI, driving under the influence ticket or whatever, a couple weeks back. And so basically he was drinking and driving and he got caught. I didn't watch the whole video. I kind of skipped through it. But uh, he was scheduled to make a court appearance in mid-December for that. And, like, he told people, don't drink and drive, it's stupid. Like, it isn't a smart idea. You don't think straight when you're drunk. You can't walk straight. Why can you drive? Or why can you think you drive? Like, you're not invincible when you're drunk, even though you think you are. So, like, it's difficult. I, I can see how it'll be difficult when you're drunk. That like, you want to drive, you'll be like, oh, yeah, no problem. Like, it's just that, kind of, that part of your brain kicks in when you're drunk, you know? You think you can do anything, but you can't. So, I think the YouTube community should take that away from this, too. Just, uh... Be responsible when you drink. Plan a safe ride home. You know, if, um, get a friend to drive you home, go with a friend. You can call a taxi. You can, like, if you walked home and a cop found you, I'm pretty sure you'd obviously get a much smaller fine. And you wouldn't get, if you're a kid, you wouldn't get shit from your parents as much for it, definitely. Like, if you're like, I left my car at my friend's house and walked home because I had a few drinks, they would be much happier knowing that than saying, I drove home after I had a few drinks, and, uh, you know, my driving was a bit off, but I made it home, so it's all good. I know, um, like, you just do anything except basically drive home. So, it's, like, there's so many ways, and I, you gotta plan it before. You can't just have your drinks and then say, okay, well, how am I gonna get home now? Like, you gotta plan it out. You gotta, when you're drinking, you gotta take it seriously. And I think that's what the YouTube community should take away from this, is that that's, like, a serious problem, especially with like teenage years sort of is drinking and driving because I know teenagers are just getting into alcohol and discovering it and stuff like that but um when you drink you gotta drink responsibly obviously so I hope that he becomes an NPC in Borderlands 3 I think that would be awesome and um honestly I just hope the YouTube community sees well they'll see the effects definitely of drinking and driving but don't ever ever drink and drive it's horrible and I don't know if someone in my family did that like if they died you'd just have that memory of them and you're like why like it's that one simple decision just cost you your life and you'd be so young too like it, it would just hurt so much to know that so that's all I have for you in this video oh man it it's definitely different knowing that he's not here anymore but I guess that's all I have to say see you later